In this video, I'll show you how to play Xbox games on your iPhone. So the first thing that you need to do is open up your Xbox and get to the main menu. Then select the My Games and Apps option. Let's open it up. Then scroll down on the left until you get into Apps. Then swipe to the right and locate the settings icon. Now after we have entered the settings of, uh, section, we scroll down until we get to Devices and Connections. Then we swipe to the right and then we scroll down into removed features. We open that up and now we are back after we enter the password. We get to this section right here. It, the first step that you must make sure that this is enabled and checked. Then here you can play around with these settings. You can test the remote play if you want. Now the second thing that we want to do is go into Xbox app preferences. We need to select some of these three settings. The first one allows any uh, account or any device that is on the same network as your Xbox to connect uh, to the remote play. The second one only allows profiles that are signed in in this console to connect uh, to the remote play. And the last one doesn't allow any devices to connect to remote play. For example, I want to be more secure, so I selected the second one. I need to highlight this. Uh, you can only use remote play on your phone if you have a strong internet connection what i mean by that if you want to have a good experience and a stable experience you need to have at least five megabytes per second internet speed upload and download on your phone and xbox and you must keep your xbox turned on at all times now after we have enabled that in settings the next step is to pair our xbox controller to our phone to turn it off from our Xbox, we press and hold the Xbox button on the controller. When this comes up, we select the turn off controller option right here. Now when it stops blinking, that means that it's disconnected. Now we need to put it into pair mode. So how to put it into pair mode? You need to press and hold the button right here. And as soon as it starts blinking, that means that it's in pair mode. Now let's jump over to my iPhone to pair it up. Now we navigate over to the settings application on our iPhone, we open that up. Then we go into Bluetooth and we turn Bluetooth on. Uh, then we scroll down and as you can see, Xbox wireless controller just popped up. We select it and we select the pair option. And as you can see, it has been successfully connected. Now the next step is to exit settings and go into the app store. When you get in here, you go over to the right at the bottom and you click the search button. Then in there you write Xbox. And you select the first application right here and instead of the open button you will have the install button. Then you press the install button and you wait for your application to install. After you have installed it, it will appear on your home screen. If it doesn't, just swipe down and you will open up the search section. In here, write Xbox. Then open up the Xbox application. And on the first initial setup, you will be asked to log in and connect your console. After you have done that, you will navigate to the bottom left and press the house icon. And he, on, the, on this section, in the top right, you see the console. Let's press the console. And when this section pops up, we press remote play on this device. Then we press continue. As you can see, it's uh, telling us that we should use at least five gigahertz wireless connection or a wired connection to our internet to have a good experience. Let's press continue. Now our remote play is turning on and now we are playing our Xbox on our phone. As you can see, I can successfully move in into anywhere. I can even turn on games. For example, I can turn on Rocket League. This is a really good uh, option because it allows us to move around with our phone around our house and play any game that we want. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching.